עולה חדש בישראל, הוא לא חסר דיור, ואין לו מטען על הרצית באשדוד, ואם ירצה ללמוד עברית, אני מניח שהוא יזמין את המורה המיועד להתארח בדירתו, בקומה ה-18 של מלון פאר על חוף ימה של הרצליה. הוא בעליו של המלון הזה, זהו מלון מגדל דניאל, ואורחנו הוא ליאון תמן. שלום לך, מר תמן. שלום, שלום. שלום אה, אתה עולה חדש וקיבלת אזרחות ישראלית. סרטנלי. עכשיו, זה... עולה חדש איננו מקיים מסיבת עיתונאים לרגל התאזרחותו. אתה עשית את זה. אז אני מניח שאתה מייחס חשיבות רבה למהלך הזה. אולי אתה יכול להסביר לי מה החשיבות הציבורית של קבלת הפספורט הישראלי. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's been on my mind for the last 10 years, but it's only almost 10 days ago, on Yom Simchat Torah, when I was Hatan Torah in uh, my uh, Bet Knesset in uh, London, and uh, I read the, the, uh, the, what do you call, the Haftarah of Vizot uh, Abracha. And I was inspired. I heard as if a voice was telling me, Kum, go to Israel, don't be afraid. Hazak ve'ematz. And I decided there and then that when I go to Israel, I'll declare my aliyah and apply for my teoda. Uh, and... Azot ha'ita shu'a mi ma'al. It was as if somebody was talking to me inside me. It was a real inspiration. I mean, I... I couldn't believe myself, I was hesitant, but from that moment, I was no more hesitant. Why did you do this? Well, you know, business, uh, family, and so forth, it was not easy to uproot myself and to come over. Although I lived here for many, many years, almost 20, since the Six Day War, I came and lived here. I mean, I visited Israel maybe about 500 times over the, over the years. I uh, felt always that I was really Israeli in heart and spirit, but this feeling is new to me. טוב, אנחנו לא ניכנס לתחושות מיסטיות כאלה, איזו השראה פתאומית לבוא לישראל, אני מניח שזה דברים שאינם ניתנים להסבר. אבל יש דברים אחרים שאולי ניתנים להסבר, אם אתה תואיל להסביר לנו אותם. אתה מתואר בדרך כלל בעיתונות הישראלית כלאון תמן המיליונר. טוב, אז זו שאלה שלא, שבדרך כלל לא נוהגים לשאול אותה בארצות אחרות. אבל כיוון שאתה עולה לישראל, תצטרך להתרגל להרבה דברים, אולי גם לשאלה הזאת, כמה אתה מיליונר? במילים אחרות, כמה מיליונים יש לליאון תמם? Well, I would like to be known as ליאון תמם. פס. לא יעזור לך, לא יעזור לך. לא יעזור לך. את המעמד הציבורי אתה קנית בזכות המיליונים שאומרים שיש לך. Well, I wish to be known really not for my millions. but for the good work I would do and the contribution I make for the state of Israel. I've been a Zionist since the age, I would say, of 23. Mm -hmm. That this was many years ago. And uh, I would like to be known for my contribution to the country, to the state, to the welfare of the state, and to my brethren as well. Okay, this is a luxury of millionaires, I would like to be known for my contribution to the country, to the state, to the welfare of the state, and to my brethren as well. Okay, this is a luxury of millionaires, I would like to be known for my אתה נולדת במדינה שמעט מאוד יהודים באים ממנה, בסודאן. יש לנו יהודים בכל הגלויות, אבל סודאן באמת יש בודדים. ונולדת דומני בעיר אונדורמן, שקשורה בהיסטוריה של המלחמות עם המהדי במאה הקודמת. ומספרים שאת ראשית ההון שלך אתה עשית מציד קרוקודילים. או שתאשר את האגדה הזאת, או שתכחיש אותה. businesses at my early age when I was a young man. I went hunting with my hunters, I organized, and we became the biggest dealers in crocodile skins in the world. Uh, we used to harpoon them. I used, I used my gun, uh -huh. but uh, I, the native hunters harpooned with a harpoon. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, we collected them, skins, skinned them, and exported them mainly to France. How did your family come to Sudan? My father came, my grandfather came from Cairo. Of course, we are of Italian and Spanish ancestry. But my father was born in Egypt. He went to Sudan in 1914. 
and he lived in the Sudan until 1953. In 48, he made a, Aliyah to, uh, to Israel immediately after independence. He was a great Zionist himself. Itcha? No, I stayed behind. You were already born. You were left behind. No, this was not the case. You see, I was a married man and uh, I could not uh, take the plunge right yeah. away. אומרים שאת ה, את ה, אה, עיקר ההון שלך, או לפחות את הפריצה הכלכלית הגדולה שלך במערב, אתה עשית מזה שהצלחת למצוא אה, גומחה, נישה, בתוך תעשיית התרופות הבריטית. אתה גילית משהו שהבריטים לא הבינו. אתה יכול אה, לספר לי על ה... Well, yes, uh, it was the pharmaceutical industry I started out of all places in the Sudan. I was the first to introduce generic drugs, which means that we sell the drugs without a brand, but basing ourselves on quality. And we sold the uh, pharmaceutical products at almost, I would say, a third of the price. Mostly to the third world. And uh, because I, I was aware of the necessity of the, those poor people who needed drugs and who could not afford to buy branded drugs. And I cut and slashed prices by almost two-thirds. And yet I made a lot of money out of it. Okay. Now, because you didn't want to share with us the information about the size of your money, I'll just tell you that you say that you have about half a million dollars, and you have about 60 companies in the world all over. ושאחת החברות שלך למשל, וזה יעניין ישראלים רבים, היא חברה שקיבלה על עצמה את התקנת כל הציוד האלקטרוני במשחקים האולימפיים בסיאול. אבל אתה עצמך לא למדת כלום, באופן מסודר. אתה למדת עד גיל 12, אם אינני טועה. Well, it's true that I've got around 60 companies around the world, and it's true that we also built all the systems for NBC in Korea, in Seoul, for the Olympics. which, by the way, went out without a hitch. But these are uh, the businesses that I handle all over the world. I mean, we, from hotels to uh, uh, telecommunications, satellite communications, uh, buildings, television studios. But you told me that you came to the Ulpan, that even though you are in the Ulpan television, and you are in the Ulpan television, and you are in the Ulpan television, you are in the Ulpan television, you are in the Ulpan television. Well, it's true, we've built quite a lot of studios. I own a studio over here in Israel as well. But I never had the time to go into, the, to, into a studio and to watch... I'm very happy that you can learn something. If you learn something in a way, I'm very happy. I'm very happy to learn something in relation to some of the things that I would like to learn. From this year, you are very happy in investment in Israel. And if I'm not sure, you've been a long time שאתה המשקיע הפרטי הגדול ביותר בארץ, עד שמקסוול בא ועבר אותך. די מרגיז, אה? I'm not really annoyed because I still, I think, hold first place, despite Robert Maxwell's investment, because he invests as a company. I invest as an individual. כמה? Many, many millions. כמה הפסדת? Lose? No, I didn't lose. אתה בוודאי מכיר את הבדיחה שכל ישראלי צריך להכיר אותה, איך עושים מעט כסף בישראל, באים עם הרבה, אתה לא מאלה. I think it's a fallacy to say that you come with a big fortune in order to make a small fortune by losing the bigger fortune. I think this is a fallacy. I would say that business is rather difficult. I mean, here you're dealing with a lot of people who know better than you. And that's the problem. Uh, however, um, over the last 20 years, one gains experience. I always said, if you pass the university of the school in Israel, you can work in any place in the world. If you were a member of the country, we would not know, Artaman, that you did a job, that I don't know if you did or not, 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 אתה סוציאל דמוקרט? I tell you, I am, uh, as I once said to François Mitterrand, I'm a socio-capitalist. Mm -hmm. And Mitterrand used it in his election campaign 
because he had not, never heard of social capitalism. And when I say so, social capitalism, is I'm a capitalist, but I like to give money my own way, not to be imposed upon, so I'm helping society. So I become a social capitalist. No, I don't belong to any party. And what you're saying about helping the, the, the Maharaj or helping any party, I tell you, all these are figures thrown in the air. Perhaps that's one of the figures that they, Fakir was able to, to, to uh, refer to. But as you know, there's a law. If you give less than a certain amount, you don't have to declare. Yeah. And uh, I tell you, I help all parties because I, everyone, I, am, I tell you, what's, I always declared what's good for Israel is good for me. I do not want to be a partisan. And I declared it openly. When I declared my ally and I got the Toda, I said I will not belong to any party. But as always, at the Berchilut, I'll be glad to. Be Umduman, she be Sudan, Gadlush, Ne Yenarim. A Hadnikra Nisim Gaon, Vashininikra Leon Taman, Vishnehem Gissim. Is it a Hon Shebenehem Soreret Yerivut or Kinah, Gambit Huma Sakim, the Gambit Huma Spat Sibuit? I'll tell you, there is rivalry, and you'll be surprised to hear that, only for charity. He likes to do more, I like to do more, more than him. That's the only rivalry. He doesn't envy me, I don't envy me. We are not only brothers-in-law, we are cousins. Yeah. His mother and my mother are sisters, we're sisters, because they both died. The only rivalry we've got is in philanthropic אני מאחל לשניכם שלעולם לא תצליחו להשיג זה את זה ולנחול, לגרום לזולת מפלה מוחצת. מר תמן, אני מודה לך מאוד שהיית איתנו כאן הערב באולפן ואני מאחל לאזרח הישראלי החדש ליאון תמן קליטה קלה. אני מניח שהתקוות שלי יתגשמו. נו, תתאמץ קצת יותר, מר תמן. No, I tell you what, I... I גם אני מרוצה מאוד, גם אני מבסוט מאוד להיות... גם אני מאוד מבסוט. תודה רבה.